Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I am so so excited to share with you my review of Cabaret at the Kit Kat Club which is at the Playhouse Theatre in the West End. I've honestly been looking forward to sharing my review. I went and visited the show last week and I just can't wait to talk all things Cabaret because there's just so much to share and I'm just so excited to talk about it. It's just such an incredible show. But before we go and dive into the review, I just wanted to go and give a big shout out to those of you who have been subscribing to me for quite a while now. You like my videos, you comment on my videos. It's honestly been so great chatting with all of you. Um, so yeah, if you do get an opportunity, please do go and comment down below because I love having a chat. If you're new around here though, um, you enjoy travel, lifestyle, theatre, Disney content, then be sure to hit that subscribe button and join this lovely community that we've got. I have a lot of exciting videos planned for in the future and I wouldn't want you to miss out. But without further ado, let's crack on with my review of Cabaret at the Kit Kat Club. Let's go. Now, obviously, Cabaret is a traditional show. It has been going for years. It's been on stage for years. It has had a film adaptation of it. But I've got to admit, going into this show, I didn't really know what to expect, to be honest. I'd heard some great things about it, but I wasn't 100% sure what the plot was. I wasn't too sure on what the vibe of the show would be like. But actually, I think that the show was extremely easy to follow. The show was basically set in 1930s Berlin, there's a rise in the Nazi party, and it kind of follows the story of an American writer called Cliff, and he falls in love with a British cabaret performer called Sally Bowles, and I guess their relationship kind of, like, becomes, like, entangled in the world of the Kit Kat Club. There are so many scenes in this show, particularly in, because we're now in modern day Britain, where it is just so powerful, especially in the scenes where you've got characters that are saying that like the rise of the Nazi party is just a phase and it's really quite hard hitting because obviously we know what's likely to happen to this Jewish character. Um, I just think it's fair to say that I was blown away with the plot from the start to the finish and my worry was that because I wasn't going into the show knowing the plot that it wasn't going to be easy to follow, I'd be a bit lost in the plot um, but actually it was easy to follow. It was nothing extremely too complex, but it deals with some very dark themes. And I guess if you are aware of like World War Two and what was going on at that time, um, and you've, that, you've kind of got that as a context, then the show is really, really easy to follow. But overall, I was just so immersed in the whole experience. I was so immersed in the show and the plot. Everything was incredible and it is really, when you go into the Kit Kat Club, it is a whole new world that you are going into and that just made it so incredible. So I just wanted to kind of, this is kind of just a disclaimer about the plot because I know for some of you, if you've booked the show but you haven't really seen Cabaret before and you don't really know what it's about, don't be worried about necessarily rushing to see a film of it because the show itself is really easy to follow. <laughs> Okay, so let's go and talk about the actual theatre itself. Now, what they've done to the Playhouse Theatre for this show is honestly breathtaking. The venue has been completely revamped for this production and it's absolutely stunning. From the moment you go and you walk into the Kit Kat Club, you are completely transported to a different world. The decor, the lighting, the whole theming, like everything is just perfectly designed to immerse you in the world of the Kit Kat Club. And... It's just clear that so much thought and care went into every aspect of this production um, and it really shows. There's no theatre where you walk in and you are so immersed in the way that Cabaret is. Even like Moulin Rouge, that's probably the closest to it when you walk in and obviously it's all the red lights of Moulin Rouge. It was quite similar to that in some respect but even more intense. Cabaret does it so much more intensely and I think the fact it's not a traditional theatre really helps with that. Now one thing that actually really stood out to me about the Kit Kat Club and the they actually was really strict on this from the moment you got into the queue was the strict no photography policy. Now I knew about this um, but basically before the show they actually put stickers on our phone as you can see here these were the stickers they put over our phone camera just to ensure that we're not like tempted to take any pictures or videos. Now for me at first I have to admit I was a bit annoyed by this. I am that person in the theatre who loves taking pictures of the actual theatre itself, taking pictures of uh, taking, like videoing curtain call, getting pictures of curtain call 
I mean, who doesn't want to go and capture some photos of such an amazing show? I never go and film the actual show in, being performed, but just the end and just like the theatre itself, I like taking pictures of. But as the show went on and when I become immersed in the actual Kit Kat Club, in the actual theatre itself, I began to realise that the strict policy actually added so much to the experience. The fact that the club is just so secretive and exclusive, it makes you feel like you are part of something that is truly special. And it's like you're in on a secret that the rest of the world doesn't know about. And honestly, I kind of love that feeling. There's no show like it. And I really think that the Kit Kat Club have done something well here with the sticker on your phone. I think it adds so much to the experience, not knowing what to expect. The whole, even the whole beginning bit when you're kind of going down to the Kit Kat Club, even that is such an incredible experience. Um, and I feel like in a way, it was so much going on, I couldn't really take it all in. So it just kind of makes me want to go again because I haven't got it on camera at all. So yeah, I, I just love that they have put this policy in place and I've, I completely understand now why they've decided to do that. Also, I think that it actually changed the whole way that the theatre was in terms of the audience and the etiquette because I didn't even see anybody on their phone. A phone kind of gives you access to the outside world and there was no need to go on your phone. I mean, you was in this immersive world of the Kit Kat Club. You was there, you was drinking, you was having fun, you were talking to the people around you. Like, it was that environment in the Kit Kat Club and you didn't necessarily need your phone at all. It was nice to have that escapism from the outside world. So even though the show started at 2pm for us, because we were in a matinee show, we were actually asked to come in at 12.45, so 75 minutes earlier than the show started. And even though, I guess mainly this was for us to go to the bar and grab a drink, the show really began the moment we entered the Kit Kat Club. One thing that really stood out to me about the venue was the different bars where you could grab a drink. Um, we only had visited one bar, I think it was the gold bar that we went to, but the atmosphere was so lively, it was so fun. We had the Kit Kat boys and girls like performing on top of the bar. It was a really cool touch. And I love the fact that you could actually go and pre-order your pre-show and your interval drinks before the show actually began. Um, and it just made the whole experience seem really, I guess, like seamless and enjoyable because you didn't have to rush out of your seat at the interval. You know, my mum, we pre-ordered our drinks and our ice creams bef during the pre-show. And then when the interval started straight away, they were brought out to us. So it just made the experience so amazing. And we could stay in our seat. At the end of the day, we paid a lot of money for our seat. It means we didn't have to get up and go to the bar. Although even in the uh, interval, the bars were open and they still had the Kit Kat boys and girls there like, performing at that time. Let's talk all about the actual auditorium in itself because this is so different to any other show that I've ever been to before. The layout of the theatre was extremely unique. It was interesting, but for a show like this, it honestly worked perfectly. There was like a small circular stage in the centre of the room and then you had audience sitting on either side and they were either sitting in table seats, which is what I was in, and I love the table seats, but I'll talk more about that in a moment, or you had more traditional theatre seating. So there was stalls behind the table seats, then you got the dress circle and the grand circle, and they offered, I guess, like a different perspective on the show. Now, wherever you were sitting, you still had that immersive experience. The way it's set up allows the performers to interact with the audience, and we all felt like we was part of the show. Even during the pre-show, there was actors kind of speaking to the audience. They would like come around, um, even up on the balconies, they would, um, you saw them kind of like hanging off the side. It was really immersive from the beginning. Now, personally, I was actually a bit nervous about booking tickets because obviously there's two sides and I didn't really know what way the actors were going to face. Obviously, I imagine they would try to make it 50-50 where possible, but that really kind of made the booking process a bit stressful because nobody tells you what sides to sit on. Now, I ended up booking seats on the side with the grand circle and I'll post a picture for you to actually see what I'm talking about so you can book tickets on that side but I think that honestly this was the best choice and I'm so glad I picked that not only did we have a great view of the show but the performers actually faced outside slightly more I would say it wasn't 50 50 um 
However, even if you have booked seats on the other side, I'm sure you will try it. You will still have an incredible view. The show, I guess, is choreographed in a way that every side gets audience interaction, which is a really cool aspect of this production, is that they do try to give both sides of the audience a view. And a lot of the times you on the stage, you've got two characters and they're just like facing each other. So it doesn't really matter. They're not, it's a scene where they don't need to face the audience. But there are moments where it's like, um, during particularly like the solo performances, for example, during um, Cabaret, when Sally Bowles sings Cabaret, um, I found that she was facing our side a lot more than the other side. So again, it's just, if that's something that's gonna make a difference to you and what side you want to book on, 100% book the side with the grand circle rather than the other side. I mentioned it before on my channel, but Cabaret is such an expensive show to see. But I actually booked my tickets in January for this show, um, four months before the show actually was, and I paid £150 for a table seat. However, when I am looking now for like four months in advance, at the same amount of time, table seats seem to be a minimum of £300. But I just want to say that these table seats were really worth the money and they really add to the whole Kit Kat Club experience. I actually can't stress enough how amazing they were. The tables were set up in a way that it was easy to see everything that was going on. The performers actually came over to our side of the stage often. Um, I love the fact that the tables were close enough to the stage where we could see performers' facial expressions, which in a show like this, you want to be able to see their facial expressions. There is so much expression on their face that tells the story. And really, we did feel like we were part of the show. We were so close to the action. We were so immersed. When you get a table seat, you also get a little lamp and a phone. Um, the phone's supposed to ring, but ours actually didn't. Um, so I'm a little bit unsure what actually happens if it rings. But I can see around us, people's phones were ringing. It just didn't happen to us, unfortunately. Um, I personally think the table seats are the best seats in the house. Um, so if you're looking to book tickets, I definitely recommend paying a little bit extra to get the table seats so that you can actually enjoy the show in style. However, if that's not for you, I've heard that the Kit Kat Club offers a good view wherever you're sitting. So you're definitely not gonna miss out on the show aspect, but if you want the kind of the style aspect of sitting at the table, 100%, pay the extra and get a table seat because it was worth it and you won't regret it. Moving on to the performances in the show and wow, I just have to say that Amy Lou Wood as Sally Bowles was absolutely incredible. She brought so much depth and complexity to the character of Sally Bowles and being so close to the stage, honestly was so worth it just to see her facial expressions. She knows exactly how to use facial expressions in a show and seeing her facial expressions so close up was just phenomenal. And can I just add that when she done the iconic number, Cabaret, there was a round of applause for honestly about two minutes. She led that stage and whenever she was on, I just couldn't take my eyes off her because she, it was just phenomenal watching her and I loved it. So Amy done an incredible job. Now, obviously Cabaret liked to use stars. Obviously, um, Jessie Buckley was the very first Sally Bowles in this production. And I can't actually compare Amy to Jessie Buckley. Can't really do that because I haven't seen Jessie Buckley with my own eyes. But Amy Lou Wood, incredible. And if you get an opportunity, you need to go and see her in that role because she was just breathtaking. She was breathtaking to watch. Loved watching her. Now, John McRae as the MC, he was also amazing. His energy and his like charisma, it was just amazing. And I love how like dark he portrays the MC as being. And he just has incredible vocals. Um, and I was just so fortunate to actually see him perform live because just amazing, like incredible. I haven't even got really words to say, just incredible watching them two together on the stage. I'm so glad that they were there on the day of the show because just fantastic. But yeah, overall, the performances from the entire cast, obviously I've just spoke about the two principals, but the entire cast was fully outstanding. Amy Lou Wood, John McRae gave absolute unforgettable performances. And if you're a fan of musical theatre, I highly recommend that you go and check out Cabaret before the 27th of May, just to see them two incredible performers in action doing this show, because I feel like the show was made for them, 100%, just 
phenomenal. Loved watching them on stage. So the moment you've been waiting for, the my star rating of Cabaret. But before I actually give my star rating, I just want to talk to you a bit about the ending of the show without giving spoilers. Now, I thoroughly enjoyed the show from start to finish. I said I loved the plot. But I have to admit that the ending of the show, it didn't quite have that big West End finish that you would expect. And I'm not sure what it was, but I just kind of left the show feeling a little bit underwhelmed because of the ending. It was almost like throughout the show there was this big build up and then just this average ending at the end. However, despite me saying that, I do think that the show is worth checking out just because the ending wasn't for me. You might love the ending. I just felt like there was a build up for no real reason. The actual performances from Amy Lee Wood and John McRae alone are worth the price of admission. And the whole immersive experience, like you are paying for an experience with this show. It isn't just a theatre show. The whole experience is what you are paying for. And again, I love the table seats. If you're a theatre fan and you're looking for a unique and like an unforgettable night out, I would definitely recommend giving this show a try because it is just, it's more than a show. Like I said, it is a whole immersive experience. And that is why it's so expensive. I now know why people are paying that amount of money for this show. It's because it is an experience, not just your average theatre show. Another thing I want to mention before I reveal my final star rating for the show is about whether the show is actually worth the price tag. Because I've said it's an expensive show, I've said it's an immersive experience, but would I pay the same amount again? Now, I have to say, while I absolutely love the show, I'm not sure that I would pay the £300 price that I'm seeing now for the show. However, I would 100% pay that £150 price tag again for the table seats. It is such an immersive experience and it really added to the overall enjoyment of the show. Also, if you're on a budget though and you're looking for a good deal, then you could also go and enter the lottery for the cabaret, which is on daily, on today ticks. They announce the winners at 3.30 and if you win, you can win a pair of tickets for £50, £25 each. But taking all of that into account, I have to say that my final rating for the show is a 4.5 out of 5. Easily, it would have to be a 4.5 out of 5. Even though the ending wasn't quite what I was expecting, and it kind of was quite disappointing for me, the performances made up, the rest of the show made up for it. The music was catchy, it was memorable, and it's just the whole immersive experience just added to the overall enjoyment of the show. So that is why I'm giving it a 4.5 out of 5. Maybe if the ending was slightly better, it would have been a perfect five. But if you are looking for a fun and unique night out at the theatre, then 100% check out Cabaret at the Kit Kat Club. I'm going to link it down below. I'll also link down today ticks as well for you in the description because it is 100% a, worth, a show worth checking out. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, then please be sure to subscribe to my channel for more theatre reviews and recommendations. And also don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video with your friends. You can also go and follow me on Instagram for more content, which I don't necessarily post on here, but I post lots of theatre content, Disney content, anything that I'm doing in my life, I post it over on Instagram. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. See you real soon. Bye guys.